Hello, I'm going to be answering chapter 12, number five. Researchers find more evidence of bisexuality and sexual fluidity among women than among men. Do you think that this says something profound about men's and women's sexuality, or does it have more to do with how boys and girls are acculturated to think about sexual attraction and sexual relationships? Um... I think that it is maybe a little bit of both. Women are from a very young age, you know, the gender types are studied and shown at, you know, the very young age, you know, if you're a girl and you know, if you're a boy. So there's, you know, in that group of people, I'm not saying that gender isn't variant, but women generally have their more kind of relationship oriented and creatures of emotion in a good way. Um, women tend to um, develop, you know, like we have very strong intimate relationships with our girlfriends whereas I don't think as many men have those kinds of relationships with their with their male friends so a you know so a sexual relationship may be more likely to build from that um I do think that some of it has to do with the way that we are raised to think about sexual attraction and relationships. So, like I said, relationships with women are more intimate with each other than men with men. But in the book, whenever it was talking about bisexuality and people that are fluid with their sexuality have more... Um, sensory sensory seeking behaviors because of a dopamine difference in their brain and i can see how that is that is true for girls and for boys but women are totally sexualized um we're taught from a very young age that women are what's sexy and attractive. Women are all over the media and in advertisements and everything dressed sexy and sexy is what everybody wants. And so if all of this is in your face, in your face, of course it makes something that's unattainable, but it also makes something that's desirable because as we've seen through this whole semester, women, women are attracted to women, even if they're not, even if they're heterosexual. I think that also has some evolutionary things. Women's bodies are beautiful and nice to look at. And so that could have to do with, have to do with more of the fluidity among women than men. Um, definitely acceptance because I know even my gay friends say things like a guy that is bisexual is really he's more just gay um I think that the part in the book where the girl it, it was asking something about a woman who is bisexual and she was with a man and she said, I didn't fall in love with this man because he was a man. I fell in love with this man because this man was Bill. And I think that, I think that women more so than men have that capacity to fall in love with a person for them being the person. Um, I know that might sound a little bit man hating, but I think that's, I think that's the way that it is most of the time. Um, and, and that's it.